There have been naturally a lot of concerns coming into hospitals since this past year with the pandemic. So we wanted to find out a little bit more as to what safety measures are in place here at Memorial Miller Children's and Women's Hospital. So to explain to us a little bit more about the safety measures that are in place and why it is important to come in for your appointments, we have Chief Medical Officer here, Dr. Tse, how are you? I'm doing very well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much. So tell us, what are some of the shifts that you probably have noticed in this year and in the beginning of the year for patients coming in? Well, with the COVID pandemic, uh, parents and families and, and patients have been appropriately concerned about is it safe for me to come and see my healthcare practitioner? Some of those individuals have been putting off routine care or care that's really important to receive from their, uh, from their physicians. And so sometimes um, that delay in care has negative effects on the patient's uh, medical condition. Um, so we are certainly advising uh, individuals to please come and see your providers. We can provide care uh, safely and we have various measures to keep them safe whether they come to the hospital or to our beautiful brand new children's village. Tell us a little bit more then about some of the complications that can arise if patients do not come in for proper treatment or any other vital appointments that they should attend, especially the young ones. Yeah, you know, it varies disease by disease, um, but what we don't want to see is that some patient is negatively affected or adversely affected by the delay in their care, whether that's progression of their disease or being getting sick that requires hospitalization. It is very important that they see their, their patient or their, their caregivers, their, their physicians as, as needed, and especially when scheduled so that they can maintain their care and maintain their health. Now, of course, there are a lot of people that are concerned that coming into hospitals because of the whole pandemic and COVID situation that they're not going to feel safe enough. So what kind of safety measures are in place in order for families to feel safe to come in? That's a great question. We've had a year of this pandemic and we've become, quite honestly, experts at providing safe care. So everyone that comes in the hospital, both patients, families and the staff, are screened every day for um, signs or symptoms of COVID. Everyone has their temperature taken. Uh, we're both wearing masks here, and you will see masks worn throughout the health center. As well, social distancing, maintaining a, a good distance between people, hand washing, um, and the masks are especially are the, the, some of the measures that we use um, to protect ourselves. As well, environmental um, services or environmental uh, environment of care is also very important. So we've increased our disinfection and cleaning of commonly used surfaces, and, and we are able to maintain a very safe environment and, and know how to manage or handle COVID very well mm -hmm. and prevent spread. Mm -hmm. It is very clean in here, I must say, and we did get our new masks as well. So tell us as well about the Children's Village Hospital. You did briefly mention that. When is that actually going to open up? So the, the Children's Village is going to see its first patients at the end of February. It is a beautiful new building. It is our outpatient, uh, outpatient building where uh, there's over 36 specialties um, to see all our, all our outpatient children. Um, and uh, that is opening up at the end of February. And uh, what can people expect when they come in here, or families and safety measures as well? Yep. The, the same measures that we use in our acute care hospital, Miller Children's and Women's Hospital, you'll see here. So that is going to be screening of, of all the, any, anyone coming into the building, again, for signs and symptoms of COVID, as well as uh, temperature checks. You'll see everyone with masks, uh, frequent cleaning of all the, the common surfaces, um, and a very safe and cleanly environment. Thank you so much, Dr. Tse. If you want some more information on the safety measures that are in place, do head on over to millerchildrens.org forward slash safe. I'm Yasmin Tanras here with Long Beach Local News. Head on over to longbeachlocalnews.com for more local news.